Hi folks, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for checking out today's video. I'm gonna do a prop build for you. I'm gonna show you how to build a giant candy cane made out of PVC piping. There are two different ways I'm gonna show you how to build this. One way takes about 10 minutes. The other way takes about 30. Depending on which way you want to build your candy cane, depends on how much time it's gonna take you. Uh, first, let's get to everything you need. Uh, the real quick items, depending on which way you go, you may need either red paint or red tape or even blue painter's tape. We're gonna go through those two options right here real quickly. You also need uh, acetone or fingernail polish remover. Uh, but what kind of size piping do you need? I went to my local hardware store this morning and got myself some PVC piping. I went with a four inch in diameter piece of pipe. They come in different lengths. I also went with a five foot length pipe. They went all the way up to 10 feet for $52. I did not need to spend that much money. Add yourself a long sweep elbow and a 90 degree street elbow also both in four inch in diameter and make certain you put that together before you leave the store you want to make certain that you're buying what you want make sure it looks sharp and you can always add depth to that hook by adding more pieces to it but today this is what we're buying before we leave the store now that you have all of your materials in front of you or you will soon enough and you'll come back and watch this video later when you do uh, some folks will take the time to paint this white don't take the time to paint it white. It's much easier to use acetone or fingernail polish remover. Uh, you have these markings. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're, they're red, uh, but you'll have these markings on here. You can take the time to paint this white if you want, but it's much easier just to use fingernail polish or acetone remover because it'll take this blue right off. First, just take a little on here, get it on there, and look at that, it comes right off. comes right off without even really without even trying and boom just like that no more blue paint on this bad boy it's completely white we didn't have to take the time to paint it white we didn't do any extra effort took about 30 seconds to get us a nice clean white base now it's time to get it red so about 10 years ago i made this bad boy here this is a painted edition i took the blue painter's tape and the white here is just the white you see here and I took the tape and I went around and around and around and around and then once the tape was all on there and I liked my candy cane striping, I took some red painters, I took some red paint and I uh, spray painted this bad boy. No need to use a roller or a brush, just spray paint it. You can place them on two workhorses, uh, you really can paint anywhere. Uh, but yeah, this is a painted edition and this is one that I made oh, about a decade ago. Here's the caveat, it takes about 30 minutes to do it in this style because you're taking the time to spray paint. If though, and here's the, here's the catch, if you're already taking the time to tape it, why not just use red masking tape? It's kind of glossy, it's pretty neat. You're already taping it anyway. Tape it to look like it's spiraled. You don't need a safe place to paint. You don't need a well-ventilated place to paint. You don't have to change clothes into your painting clothes. You just use red tape. So if you're gonna take the time to tape it, there is some logic, and that's what I'm gonna show you today is how to use red tape to make a PVC pipe candy cane, but there is a second way to do it, which is taping it and painting it. I'm curious which style you're gonna go with. Are you thinking more of the paint, or are you thinking more of the taped, and are you gonna use traditional red and white, or are you gonna spice it up a little bit? Real easy to build it here. It just takes three pieces and takes about 10 seconds. Uh, first things first, put that bad boy on there, boom. Spin it around. and you just constructed yourself your very first ever PVC piped candy cane. It's really that simple. This part takes as long as you want it to take as far as perfection goes. How you start your taping job will determine the angle of your candy cane. So do take time to determine your correct angle. One great way is just to hold the tape taut and roll the pipe into the tape. All right, you got yourself two questions to ask now. 
First, do you like this as is? If the answer is yes, you move on to the next step. If the answer is no, you have two options. One, you can go ahead and paint this red. Maybe you want the six, seven inches of white and only the three inches of red. Well, you've already taped it. You realize you don't like this look. Now's the time to take your red can of spray paint, spray paint this, let it dry, take the red tape off and boom, seven inches of red and you only have a little bit of white. This I find myself on PVC piping to make candy canes duct tape a better tape to use than painter's tape. I think it goes on much easier. Second question you have to ask yourself is if you don't like this and you don't want to spray paint, simply go back and add another layer of red tape on this. Just on top or below and get yourself a six inch layer of red and about a three inch layer of white. You have the two options. We're going to assume for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and assume that you like this. We're going to go on to the next step. Pull's done. You said you like it. We're going to go ahead and tape the hook now. The first step is to give it an illusion that the red is continuous. So we need to tuck it in underneath here. No matter which one you go with, the painted version or the taped, you have to tape them both. So start out with this, see if you like it. Maybe add a second layer of red, or maybe just go to the painted style if that's what you choose. Now, if you have a walkthrough display, or if you're a perfectionist, you're gonna wanna take your time and do it right the first time. If you're like my show, the candy canes are back away from the crowd, they're not illuminated, no one's gonna see tiny, tiny imperfections. Not that big of a deal. Depending upon the economy, uh, when I first built this 10 years ago, it cost me $25 in parts. This cost me 60. So it all depends on your budget if this is something you want to do. The Great Christmas Light Fight will be right here on our channel for an interview. It's Christmas in July Extravaganza Month. We have a ton of people coming on for the show to do interviews. Uh, Laterama, David from Learn Christmas Lighting, Angela from Creative Displays, and of course, the Great Christmas Light Fight. We also had Clip on if you're curious how to make money installing Christmas lights. It's Christmas in July extravaganza month. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the channel. That's about it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching this prop build. I'm Charlie. I'll see you in the next video.